All right, I just wanted to show everybody how much testimony and commentary there was for the resolution to uh, ban modified hydrofluoric acid. This was for item 9D last week. So here's all the paperwork just for the item itself. And there were preliminary emails saying for or against. Um, I think it's almost laughable when you look at the resolution um, that the city of the council hereby supports the efforts of the following agencies ensuring and enhancing safety of Torrance Refinery, encouraging all interested parties to work together. And included, of course, is Congress members, Congresswoman Waters and Congressman Ted Lieu. The same Ted Lieu, by the way, who claims that Donald Trump is an illegitimate president and has mental issues, even though when I confronted Lou, he refused to answer any of my questions. And of course, Elmer Tsuchi, who has not said anything or made any comments. So here we are, the same promotion for the TRAA and all the people who hate uh, what's going on there. Decision Day. Um, look at all the activism. Look at all the stuff that's going on here. Uh, promoted by, I guess, Gang Wenang and the rest. So we can see how... There's a lot of like uh, politicized nonsense going on in the community to try to shut down the refinery. And so here we've got some emails. So this is already, what, 33 pages? 33, 35 pages. And this is just in one packet. Look at all this supplemental material. Look at all this. Okay, so, um, yep, supplemental one. Uh, oh, this is about something else, I apologize. So here we go. This is more about for item D. Look at this. Look at all this information. Okay, and emails and commentaries. Okay, and this is to page 209 pages. 209. Okay, here's another supplemental. This is still about the same resolution which failed uh, last week. It, this is outrageous. Look at this. A hundred. We've got locals. We've got unions getting involved. Um, you know, people trying to save their jobs. People who want to look at look at all this. Unbelievable. This goes all the way to 241 pages. And then here's some remaining remaining supplementals right here. More emails. More emails. More emails. More emails. This has become a very heated subject. Uh, city council members have told me that the whole refinery issue is taking up all of their time. But uh, let's go back to, I threw it down on the ground there, I was that disgusted with it. But look at this. You know, this is so politicized. It, it's just so politicized. This is the big green agenda that wants to essentially shut down this refinery. You know, you've got all of these crazy liberals showing up you know, and there's Dr. Ang who wanted to, oh my gosh, the refinery is so dangerous. I've, I've had enough of this. I, I, I'm fed up with this. It's outrageous. And then we've got a letter, what, from the mayor, and he tried to personalize it. Dear Al. And this is from the same mayor, by the way, who is in collusion with the pack and who called me a sicko for holding him accountable. Then... Just the shamelessness never ends. So, point of fact here, there's some really nefarious elements, even in the South Bay, that are just addicted to this whole big green agenda. They would like to have what they call a carbon-free future, and that includes, you know, doing lasting damage to the refinery. And then you've got creepy 350 Joe, who essentially want, who announced he wants to shut it down. And people need to be paying attention.